The analog delay unit is the module version of the analog delay that we developed for use in the voltage research laboratory. Bucket Brigade device was invented in 1969 and was used in audio applications shortly thereafter, very excitedly used for uh, audio delays, and it was intended to behave in the way that tape delays had behaved for decades before that in electronic music, which was a very beloved effect. But what made Bucket Brigade devices unique was the ability to um, get rid of the tape machine, make it smaller, more reliable, and also to make it voltage control. was basically a form of analog sampling, discrete time sampling, where the signal is stored in thousands upon thousands of tiny little capacitors in a way that's similar to digital sampling, except the value of the signal is completely analog. And then it's put back together after it goes down this very long line of buckets. And by the time it gets to the end of the chain, it needs to be re Constituted. Once you've Once you properly tamed a BBD, it sounds delightful and it sounds an awful lot like, like tape because it has a naturally a slightly band limited, slightly low passy sort of a flavor, which is very much the way that tape sounds, especially too in the feedback path. Uh, when a BBD saturates well, it saturates in a way that's very similar to the way that magnetic tape saturates. One of the things about BBDs is that when they echo, because of the filtering, the repeating decays uh, start to lose the high end, which is exactly the way that echo actually works in the real world. The lower frequencies last longer in the bounce process than the higher frequencies do. So in many ways, a BBD, when properly tamed, sounds more like a natural echo than a digital delay does. The thing about a digital delay is that it is an actual mistakeable copy of the original in a way that an analog delay never is really a perfect copy of the original because it's more like a true echo.